So today we've got an awesome, awesome viewing, sort of a, a one-off viewing where we have got Jojo meeting Jojo. So Jojo, as in the rhino Jojo, is a southern white rhino calf that was born um, this year in the North Carolina Zoo in the US. And um, it was sort of decided by a competition that it would be called Jojo after Joseph Wachira, who is one of our um, caregivers here at um, Old Pegeta and looks after the northern white rhinos. We are just getting them online now. Um, Oh, perfect, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Hello. Hello. So we're here with Jojo. Um, unfortunately, it is raining a little bit, but we're hoping that's going to clear in the next sort of five minutes. There doesn't seem to be any grey clouds around. So here we are with, with Jojo. Jojo meets wow. Jojo. Yeah, is that Jojo? Our little Jojo. That is Jojo. Uh, <laughs> Jojo was born February 24th, and that's her mother, Linda, behind her, and she is enjoying a great belly scratching from her trainer, Tamara. Wow, they like it a lot. <laughs> we thought it was start? a fitting name. How are things in Kenya this morning? Yeah, the things are, they are good, actually. And also, we are here with the rhinos, also, they are doing good. What about on your side? We are good. We had the sun just cleared up, um, or the sun came out, so we we avoided rain while you guys got it. We must have sent our clouds to you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. And then we have the rest of our rhinos are still around here. Some of our others, there are 10 rhinos right here at North Carolina Zoo, southern white rhinos. And you can see our big girl, Abby, in the background. She's coming this way. And don't forget Pearl, that's our ostrich. She's she's nosy. She likes to be in the way. <laughs> wow, that is a good thing. Well, Jojo's pretty content just hanging out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, Jojo. <laughs> I think you can hear me. I think she can hear you. <laughs> Jojo. <laughs> This is usually her early morning nap, which will be followed by her late afternoon. She's gonna get her a couple treats. <laughs> wow. And how is how is Jojo's mother doing? Jojo's mother, Linda, is doing excellent. She's actually 31 years old. I think that's the same age as, as your northern wife, correct, Najin? Yeah, Najin is 30 years old, yeah. Yeah, they're about the same age. Um, and she is doing very good this morning. She's getting her treats. And then behind Linda on the other side of our little Boma area is another one of our babies. That's Nandi. She was born in 2018. Wow. It's also, it's Jojo's full sister. Oh, wow. That's a, Did that's they make a sister. friend together? They're a little bit of friends. Linda is a very dominant female, so she still keeps people kind of far away from each other. Yeah, because like inside here also we have like the babies of the southern white rhinos. And also you see sometimes the baby, they like to play with the other babies around. You also, Jojo, play with the other babies around also. <laughs> yes, she does. She has another sister named Magoo. Yeah. Um, and she was born in January, so she's just a couple months older than Jojo, and they play with each other quite a bit. Okay. So it's the first... We were, uh, sorry? We were so happy to have the chance to name her after you. Meeting you and watching the film was just an inspiration to all of the keepers, and we kept thinking about how you and little Ringo interacted in the film, and we wanted yeah. to have that same passion, so... We're very honored to have Jojo as her name. Thank you. Thank and you. Also, yeah, and also thank you for the viewers for voting for the baby to be called Jojo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all knew it was fitting. We know how hard your job is. I know you care for them as much as we care for our rhinos, but you're there 24-7. We get to go home, and you have to stay for long shifts. So, I mean, we appreciate you. It's a similar job, but everything you do is like tenfold of what we do. Yeah. 
And the good thing which wanted to keep me loving my job is to save these animals each and every day. <laughs> and also, you know, like the way you can see Jojo learning, playing around, that one is the thing which wanted to keep us morale of keeping working here. Because we agree. Yeah, because for me, I've been working here for almost eight years. And now these rhinos, they are like part of my family. So I like them. And also, I always <laughs> like to be working with them each and every time. We appreciate everything you're doing for conservation. And we hope by naming our little girl Jojo, it reminds all the visitors that come here and make a connection that there are rangers yeah. working diligently and that, that the plight of the rhinos, it's not... It's not passive, you know, like we have to do something. Extinction could be real. Look, yeah. she's getting a little bossy with her big sister. <laughs> wow, they are very cute actually when they are young, but when they get bigger, even sometimes you become to be afraid of them. <laughs> <laughs> she gets a little uh, full of herself is what we like to call it. And she's very yeah. small, so when she chases something, she forgets that 5,000 pounds of mom are behind her. So she thinks it's her scaring everything and it's really mom chasing after her. Hey, yeah. What are they eating? Right now they're eating Timothy hay and they get a little bit of alfalfa or lucerne. Um, that's kind of a treat for them. Okay. Also, it's almost like the same, same one, which one we give the northern white rhino, actually. Yep. What are yeah. some of their, what's some of the, your rhino's favorite foods? Uh, actually, we just only feed them like a lot uh -huh. and alfalfa. Okay. Yeah. And we've actually um we've actually got the northern white rhinos um just over there. We took shelter because it was raining, but um. Oh, we can bring okay. Them in and show you guys. It's supposed to rain here the rest of the week, so this is a good day to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So should we we can just show you sort of how they come in. Jojo's got a bucket of carrots Perfect. for them and everything. So Perfect. If I switch the screen around, Jojo, should we go get them? Yeah. So this is the boma where they stay during at the night time. Okay. But during at the morning we have to open for them so they can be able to go to feed on the big enclosure. So we're gonna be able to walk outside so we can be able to meet the last two northern white right now. So for you guys, the zoo is closed is how I, is that right? Correct. Correct. Right now, uh, we're being very safe and the zoo is closed to visitors, but obviously the staff is here every day taking care of all of our animals. Um, yeah. We are waiting wow. to hear when we can reopen, but we want to reopen very safely and with a plan. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. And are the, you know, the animals sort of missing all their, all their viewers and all their fans? Um, I don't know. What do you think, Jay? I think they're missing some of them, especially our ostrich. Like we said, she really likes her adoring public and she's known for photobombing. So I think she misses everybody out saying hi to her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. oh. So as you guys can see, you can probably see a little sprinkle of rain with us at the moment, but they've also just had a big <laughs> mud wallow. That's a happy yes. rhino. <laughs> And there's Jojo with the carrots as well. So if I try zoom in there, you can you can sort of see the um the you know the contrast on on the colour from the mud as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the light's very good for you guys. It's, from our, our point of view. I see them. So Jojo, our is this towel? Our the good one. Yeah, so the white rhino. Okay. To keep them the company. Okay, so this is the southern white rhino that I'm showing you guys. This is Tao, who keeps them company. Okay. <laughs> oh, if we wow. zoom out. <laughs> So 
So, um, how, so does Jojo get along with um with Nandi and Magoo well? She gets along fairly well with Magoo. Um, she tries to boss around her big sister Nandi, but she's still learning. Yeah, then, yeah. I watched, I watched that really sweet um video where they were introduced, yeah. um, which was just so sweet. <laughs> well, we actually had a moment where um, Jojo and her sister Magoo switched mothers and the mothers didn't notice and the babies didn't notice <laughs> for a little bit. Oh, so, really? Wow. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Someone wants some belly rub tomorrow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you want belly rubbing? Oh, that is so sweet with the brush as well. <laughs> So as Jojo was explaining, um, just for our viewers, this is where we bring the Northern Whites. Um, so it's in the evening with us here in Kenya. And this is where we bring them for the evening. Um, as you can see, they've got a nice bit of hay and some water for them. And there, if I zoom in there, you can see Jojo giving them some carrots. And they come in every night for their safety. Yeah, exactly. They come in for their safety and it also means, you know, Jojo and the keepers here can just get a little bit of a closer view on them for a little checkup. Um, our vet is also sort of on standby if there's a problem that they sort of can see. So Jojo, who are we looking at here? So this is Fatu over here. Okay. It's the young one for the Northern White China. And the other one behind Fatu, that is Najin. Najin is the mother of Fatu. Okay. And the other one on this side is the southern white rhino, which one is called Tawa. Uh-huh. And this is which one to keep them closer and also actually to trying to teach them how to become natural rhinos because the two of them, they were been born in a zoo. So they do not know how to depend on themselves. Mm -hmm. So for the southern white trainers for keeping them in the company. Uh-huh. Yeah. So guys, for you Oh, are you guys there? Oh perfect. We're yeah. here. We're here. I'm just asking you guys if you give do you get to give Jojo milk or do you just rely, you know leave it to Linda to provide for Jojo? We leave it to Linda. She takes care of Jojo all the way around. Um, oh, and it's actually awesome. we have a hard time keeping our rhinos from being too over conditioned. They eat really well on the grass here. So uh -huh. her nursing is one of the best ways for us to get her to lose a couple pounds. Um, <laughs> it's good so for both funny. mom and baby. Yeah, yeah. And she's sort growing of like very diet. fast. Yeah. yeah, they've been on oh. a diet for eight years. It didn't do any good. She had good <laughs> birth, then it worked. <laughs> so is this? Is this? No, this isn't Linda's first calf, is it? No, it's actually her seventh calf that we know of. Linda was brought in from Kruger National Park. So, unlike just opposite of your northern whites, she was born in the wild and came into a zoo, wow. where yours were born in zoos and went back into the wild. So she had a learning curve. And we actually have three of her other daughters here. Kit, who is the mother of Magoo, is 22 years old now, and she's the first calf we know of that came in with Linda. She oh, also wow. has Abby, who's 14, um, Nandi, who's two, and now Jojo. Yeah. Wow, she's done really well then. She's a good mom. Yeah. yeah. And how is, oh, sorry. how old is he? How old is Jojo? No, the mom. 31. Oh. So same as, I think, Najin? Yeah, same as Najin, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot, yeah. Oh, it's okay. And, and how is a lot of his here. father doing? His father's doing pretty good. He's actually bred himself out of a job right now. Um, <laughs> he's given us four females in two years, which is amazing. But because he's so good at creating babies now, he has to take a little bit of a time out. So he's in a separate barn where he has two acres to himself. And he actually has, we have a 53-year-old white rhino with us. Her name is Olivia, wow. and they live side by side. So they're not in together, but they can see each other. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's so nice. He's done really well, like you say. Yeah. 
one of my favorite things, we'll have to share it with you and maybe with your viewers. Um, on nice days, Olivia gets to come outside, our other white rhino. So we actually have a picture of three-month-old Jojo meeting her 53-year-old Auntie Olivia, and it's it's precious. Oh, wow. That's amazing, yeah. Wow. So, so because of Corona, I, I guess none of the public has really met Jojo yet. Is that right? That's true. She has not been out on Habitat. She was born when the zoo was still open, but because of our winter temperatures, she wasn't outside. So they've yeah. only known her through social media. Oh, wow. So that will be amazing, you know, once you guys reopen for them to all meet her. Yes, we're really excited. Who's coming up here? I hope, is, even um, the I hope even the, the kids... Sorry. I hope even the kids, when they're going to be able to come to visit, they're going to be able to enjoy to see how he's running around, Georgia. Yes, yes. yes. Because so I remember... as cute as a baby rhino. <laughs> yeah, because I remember when I was having Ringo over here, he was following me like a small dog. Oh, yeah. He was very cute, actually. But actually, Ringo was having a problem. So that was the reason why her mother left him. And... Yeah. We rescued him and we were used to give him like a formula milk. And we rescued him when he was only two weeks old. But oh. we So Jojo, you kind of you kind of know sort of what Linda's going through by having having a baby rhino to look after. Yeah. What was you know what was sort of the hardest thing that you had to deal with you know when you were looking after the baby rhino? Okay, the hard thing was during the night because sometimes I was sleeping close to Ringo, and sometimes during the night he was making some kind of sound. <laughs> Her mother is still around, but, uh, uh -huh. and you know, for keeping imagine, I'm um, just over here sitting with the baby, ring on clothes, and I'm like his parents during the middle of the night, um, giving him some formula. Milk. So it was a little bit tough, but we became and we like each another. And he used, Rigo used to follow me wherever I go, like a small dog, so it was so fun. <laughs> Even whenever the visitors they were coming to visit, they were so excited and so happy because they were used to scratch Ringo and to play with him around. Because he was a little bit smaller. Oh, so Jojo, would you like to have one more look at Jojo for you? <laughs> oh, she hears you. I'm trying to communicate with Ringo. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> with, with Jojo. <laughs> I think she came over. Yeah. <laughs> so sweet. So what is what is um what is Jojo's sort of daily routine? Um, we actually they spend twenty four seven out on our grassland habitat. So we come in in the morning. And they meet us at the gate and they just get a little bit of grain just for a treat. Um, so we can check everybody over, make sure they're happy and healthy. And then we'll put out a little bit of hay to move them out into the middle of the habitat. And she spends her days, like I said, she'll eat in the morning. And usually around 9, 30, 10, she'll lay down and take a nap. Pretty much right where mom is trying to eat usually is where <laughs> she'll lay down. Um, mm -hmm. And then she'll hop back up, run around a little, get a good wallow before the sun comes out really strong in the middle of the day. And then they'll nap in the shade for a while. 
Um, and in the evenings, when the sun starts to go down, it cools off a little bit. You can see them get active, probably get another wallow or two in. So the mud is nice and thick on them. And then they go back to grazing. Yeah. Oh, it's sweet. a rhino life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It looks like Linda's trying to make up for all the weight she's lost. <laughs> 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 we do actually our rhinos come down and we um for your boma oh. at night when you bring the rhinos in so the vets can see them we have scheduled days usually twice a week where all of our rhinos go into a barn where we can actually um do medical procedures or diagnostics on them so they all do voluntary blood collection that means they just get treats and rewards for us to do this but we can draw blood from them we can do ultrasounds, injections. We can, um, they all open their mouths and we're working on some dental procedures because that's one of the things that will happen with the large herbivores. And then we could treat any sores or scrapes that they might have on them. Yeah. Oh, wow. They get sort of like a little check over, I guess, like a little health check. Yeah. <laughs> they could, they get a so physical sweet. every three months, pretty much. Okay. Okay. Wow. That must take quite a bit, a bit of, you know, planning and sort of, manpower to do that for all your rhinos there watch the horn <laughs> <laughs> um, we start with them very young and and once they learn you know just like the northern whites they're very comfortable around people when they feel safe um yeah so it it comes just to building trust with them yeah She's yeah kind of no, exactly. the tree. yeah so, so just, obviously jojo's a female i think you know yeah. would you want her to breed when she gets older yes we are very Hello? hopeful that she's oh, going sorry. to breed when she gets older. So I was, just ask, I was just asking, would you guys want Jojo to breed when she gets older? Yes, we do want her to breed when she gets older. Um, these mm -hmm. are all part of something we call an SSP, or a species survival program. So we monitor the genetics across the United States. And then we will actually move these animals around to make sure they have good genetic pairs. Um, and we have healthy offspring. And we also try to mimic the way they will pair bonds with sort of split and then come back together with different females yeah wow so she's got but she hopefully she'll be as good years. as her mother <laughs> yeah oh so sweet well ellie we're we're really excited that we were able to do this sorry for the technical details at the beginning but you know when you're half a world away <laughs> yes yeah. that's expected <laughs> yeah no exactly no we're very happy you know albeit virtually we're so happy that jojo was able to meet jojo and hopefully, you know, soon in the future, maybe Jojo will be able to travel to you guys to properly meet We Jojo. would love that. You know, you know, Jojo, when you and James were here for Kafaro screening, I think the day he came to the zoo, you couldn't come. So James came by himself to the zoo and met the rhinos. Yeah, I was on another side in Disney World. Oh, we are going well, to show them we'll be on the other side. Yeah. yeah. Now you have to come back. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make sure when I came, when I come, I'll be able to come to visit again. Yes, yes. please. Very much yeah, so. And, Anytime. And also, and also, I'll be able to come so we can be able to talk with Jojo. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, people, they always call me Rhino Sosara. So I'll be able to <laughs> whisper. <laughs> so we can be able to there communicate Rhino things, yeah. Well, thank you so much for arranging this. Um, awesome, you, guys. We, no, we're so glad. And uh, I hope, uh, um, you know, we encourage people watching on the NC Zoo to follow Old Pajetta's social media as well. Um, yeah, no, exactly. And we exactly. hope to maybe do this maybe again in the future when uh, <laughs> little Jojo reaches another milestone. Yeah, yeah. no, that would be so cool. And, um, you know, for all your North Carolina Zoo, um, you know, followers, this is part of the Sofa Safari where we bring you guys sort of live footage of stuff going on on, on our petita. So thank you guys for coming on Sofa Safari and, um, you know, showing us Jojo. It's been, it's been amazing to see him and look at him now, just sort of relaxing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, so, uh, and again, if people weren't able to join us live, we're going to try and post this afterwards. Um, mm -hmm. so people can look for that too. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Cool guys. How do, you, well, how do you say goodbye in in uh, how do you say goodbye in Kenya? Kwaheli. Kwaheli. <laughs> yeah, Kwaheli. Is it is not in that Kiswahili Kwaheli. Kwaheli. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Bye. 
So guys, thank you very much for joining myself and Jojo on today's Soap Safari. We hope, you know, although we had a bit of technical issues, but we hope you enjoyed um, seeing Jojo and, you know, for Jojo to meet Jojo, it was awesome for you guys um, to see that. I'm just going to flip the camera around to give you guys one last shot of Tao, who's over there, who seems to like to go right into the centre of the hay. And then there's Najin and Fatu here, just enjoying the afternoon. Um, sort of munch away. If you guys have any questions, please just give us a comment. I've opened up the comments once more. Um, but Jojo, what did what did you think of meeting Jojo? Wow, it was so nice actually to meet Jojo. Yeah. The baby I know. <laughs> and I was feeling jealous because I could be able to see how they are scratching him. I was wishing if I was there <laughs> to be able to scratch Jojo. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe sometime in, you know, soon you'll be able to go. Maybe after this crisis of COVID-19, after it go away, actually. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah, because the rhino, they are very cute when they are a little bit young. Mm -hmm. But when they get bigger, even you start becoming more afraid of them. Yeah, yeah. so we need to get there soon so that, you know, yeah, you're not too scared. To bigger, yeah. <laughs> cool. Let us hope this coronavirus is going to be over soon. Yeah. Yeah, and we are keeping praying. Cool. So, guys, thank you very much for tuning in to today's Soap Safari. Um, we hope you enjoyed that. Jojo meets Jojo. We will be posting um, this on our Instagram TV. So please, you know, share it with all your friends if they miss this live. But um, we hope that you we hope that you enjoyed it. And see you guys tomorrow at seven a.m. for Sofa Safari on Facebook with a game drive. So, bye, guys, from me and Jojo. Bye.